Greetings, comrades. Hope this finds you well. Quick shout out to the Indie News Network, INN, hashtag INN, which I am super stoked to be a founding member of. Definitely check them out on all these social media platforms. So this is a really promising story out of India. Most of you have probably heard that the uh, farmers in India have been you know, on strike, protesting over a year, these these reforms that were going to be forced upon them by, you know, right-wing reactionary Modi government there. And one of the reforms that the Modi government was trying to put into place was basically to privatize the agricultural sector. So farmers in India currently are able to sell their produce to these state-run markets, and they're guaranteed, you know, a certain price for different things that they grow. So there's a you know, level of, you know, security there because they know, okay, I grow this amount of sweet potatoes, I grow this amount of rice, I grow, you know, this amount of potatoes, whatever it may be, and I'm able to sell it to these state markets and I know how much money I'm going to get. So I know how much, you know, crops I'm able to plant, et cetera, et cetera. And the Modi government wanted to privatize this whole system or at least introduce a element of privatization. And these farmers said, no, no, that's 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 not going to work. That's going to, you know, mess everything up. That's going to introduce a level of, you know, insecurity and precarity into the system. We don't like that. So we're going to get out in the streets. We're going to protest. We're going to, you know, fuck shit up basically because this, this, this isn't going to stand. This is fucked up. We don't like this. And um, I think it's read something like 60% of the economy or the workforce in India is related to agriculture. And at one point they had 250 million people in the streets protesting on strike against these reforms that the right-wing reactionary Modi government was trying to force upon these, you know, farmers. And again, you know, the result would have been, you know, large massive corporations would have been, you know, making money, exploiting these farmers and the farmers would have been, uh, you know, really fucked over. Um, But these protests have been going on so long. There was so much, you know, opposition to these reforms. The right wing, right wing reactionary Modi government backed down and said they're not going to they're not going to try to force these reforms onto the farmers anymore. So, again, it's just another example. And we've seen this in the U.S. when people withhold their their labor power and people organize strikes, particularly, you know, general strikes, you're able to force the you know, government to, to back down. And it's just really promising and amazing to see. Um, but I heard, um, yeah, it was, the farmers are still saying they're not going to, you know, stop protesting um, until uh, parliament, I, I think, backs down as well, right? Um, yeah, a- analysts said the decision was taken out of fear that BJPs, that's the that's party Modi's a part of, electoral chances could be hurt in coming state and assembly elections. Um, farmers celebrate after Indian PM Narendra Modi announced that he will repeal the controversial farm laws in Armistair on Friday. Um, our, India will repeal three agriculture reform laws that farmers have been protesting against for more than a year, Prime Minister Modi said on Friday in a stunning new turn that some analysts say is a significant defeat in his political career. Yes, and he's he's kind of like the uh, you know Indian version of Trump, basically, right? Um, uh, Modi said the government tried to convince the farmers that agriculture reforms passed in September last year were in their best interest, but had failed. <laughs> Because it wasn't in their best interest. It was in the best interest of the corporations who had been able to exploit them. Yeah, Modi's fucking trash. Um, Farmers in Punjab, Haranya, parts of Uttar Pradesh had reacted fiercely to the forums, blocking roads, staging demonstrations, and holding rallies. Despite several rounds of talks, the Supreme Court suspending the law for 18 months. Farmers refused to accept anything less than all three pieces of legislation being scrap so they they held their ground say no we're going to be out here we're going to be blocking roads we're going to be taking our tractors to the streets we're going to be holding these rallies until you get rid of all three of them we're not compromising on that um um, this is unprecedented said political analyst arati jareth modi never repeals a decision once taken again that just shows the power of these people continuing to get in the streets continuing to block the roads holding these events that massive 250 million 
strike a uh, million strikers in solidarity with these farmers, right? So it's awesome. Farmers in both states have protested against the laws, with those in western Uttar Pradesh also vowing to defeat the BJP in February state of polls. Jaras said Modi's party is desperate to hold on to government power in the vital state of Uttar Pradesh. Um, protesters, uh, protesting farmers have been camped out in their thousands by main roads near the capital of New Delhi, celebrated Modi's backtrack. Uh, despite lots of difficulties, we've been here for nearly a year. And today's our sacrifice finally paid off. I mean, just the, the staying power of these people because they saw the, these these reforms that Modi was trying to implement as so so detrimental, I think correctly so, right? Ranjit Kumar, 36-year-old farmer at Guzipar, major protest site in Uttar Pradesh. Jubilant farmers handed out confectionery, so candy in celebration, and chanted, Hail the farmer and log the farmer's movement. Hell yes, 100%. Uh, Rakesh Tikait, a farmers group leader, said the protests are not being called off. Yep, as I said, we will, we will wait for parliament to repeal the laws, he said on Twitter. New Delhi had said agricultural reforms are essential to modernize the sector, make it more productive, increase farmer. Yes, it would do the exact, uh, especially increase farmers' incomes. Like, uh, just look at the fucking free trade agreement, uh, NAFTA in the United States, how it absolutely decimated. Um, you know, farmers in in Mexico who are growing corn, right? Because this GMO corn that was being grown in mass in the U.S. was just dumped into their markets, and then like, oh, we can't fucking sell it, sell our corn for a decent price. We can't make a living from this because this GMO corn is flooding the fucking market. However, some mar- farmers felt they'd be at the mercy of the market. Yes, exactly, exactly. Large corporation lose security offered by the guaranteed prices they're offered for the crops by the government. Um, despite urbaniza- growing urbanization, agriculture still employs around 60% of India's workforce. Some economists said the reforms are necessary, but were mismanaged. Yeah, yeah, of course, fucking economists probably on the payroll of these corporations, right? Um, farmers said they felt as if the reforms had been forced on them with the opposition congress party and other parties joining the chorus of protests amid the year-long demonstrations until friday uh, until friday's announcement there had been no indication that, that modi was considering a climb down throughout the fur he maintained his strongman image and seemed determined to wait it out and hope the protests would become tired and divided they did not they did not fuck yeah dude so awesome that is awesome, man. Um, love, love to see it. Love to see it. All solidarity to workers all around the world, and kudos to these Indian farmers for standing their ground. And look what they got this, you know, strong man Modi to back down to repeal these measures. Um, something he as one you know, commentator in that piece said, he rarely, if ever, does. So it just shows, again, working class solidarity, in this case, the farmer movement in India, um, able to move, move mountains, right? Just so awesome and inspiring. Like the video if you like the damn video. Subscribe for more content. Quick shout out to the two Uber comrades supporting my channel, my partner, and Indie Left News. Definitely check out Indie Left News. They're a great resource. Peace. Much love.